you are doing well i know this is the end of the session day 5 i'm happy to see that like all of them have joined and so let's see the applications of ai and i think like from the first day day first like we have discussed the same right applications of ai since whatever it may be we have to discuss with applications right without applications nothing is possible right like application is the major thing with that criteria only we are designing the technology right so that's why technology and these type of products have been arised to use with different applications so uh, let's see some applications and some interesting videos also so that like you may be more interested in this a and maybe like you can go ahead with that <clears throat> uh, so before starting the session like uh, i think like you know what is like ai and you got some idea about what is machine learning and even yesterday you got some idea about what is python and like maybe data science big data and like now you just are you familiar with these words right so uh, let's start this sessions and see what are the different types of applications and that is like used with ai so better than uh i'm asking you maybe you can put it in the chat box i want to know whether like uh how maybe like you have understood this so uh let's have a i mean small quiz like uh just post in the chat like uh, any of the one application of ai maybe you can post any one applications in the chat box you can post yeah everyone you can try nice 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 i think like few of them are alive life and i don't know about others like i think they have kept their mobile phone and simply doing other things i know it is a big situations like you are back from school and like you are tired still like that's really nice i think like around 100 plus students have like chat i mean like posted the same uh so let's see few applications of ai in general like if you are telling about ai applications like you don't need to specifically tell a product okay you can just tell it is in a specific sector maybe like uh, automotive like self driving vehicles it's an application of vehicle and healthcare and finance and banking social media and e-commerce you know these are the things like which we are using in our day to day life right without these applications we can't forward it right so that's why ai has been used with these type of applications and we can able to do the things in a smoother and easier way so let's start with the self driving vehicles so self driving vehicles you know what is that right even like uh, before before years like a uh, car was not there even like scooter was not there even like we had only bicycles right even uh, now you can like have now we are using the bicycles for exercise right even like in past olden days like we had only one transformation media that is like bicycles right that is the first thing like human have invented and human have used for i mean like reaching the destination or traveling right so from that like it have started and now you can see a driverless car so you can think how it is like done and how it is like uh, changed the world and how technology has improved and how it has been reached here so now like we have i mean like almost like i think we have seen all different types of cars and like we have uh, automatic cars also so we don't want to worry about i mean like we don't want to confuse about the i mean gear systems uh, just like this scooter or something like we just we can drive uh, so that is the thing like which is mostly used in ua and all and after that like now we have ev electrical vehicles electrical vehicles you know the situations of petrol and diesel uh, it is like going to like i don't want to tell like it is like going like anything right prices it's like hiking like anything so that's why like we have an electric vehicle system so electric vehicle it's working based on the electricity and from where like we are fetching the or charging the vehicle it like we have a charging stations over there and like you even you can see 
uh, different types of charging stations in tamil nadu it's already have been implemented and like maybe if you are going for a drive or going for a trip by road you can see and you can i mean like if you are familiar i mean just check whether like you are seeing th- this type of driving charging stations so that like you will understand what is this it is a small station like uh, even like if you are like uh, i can't tell you the lo- locations maybe like you are from all india so i don't want to tell a specific locations you can check even like coimbatore like we have like in maybe in chennai like we have bangalore we have like you can check in all locations like we have these type of charging stations so how it is charged with the help of renewable energy you know what is renewable energy light like. so solar we have wind we have we are integrating these systems with the grid system and with the help of grid it is charging and we are using the charging system so we don't want to spend that much amount for this fuel so things will be more easier and will have a cost efficient system and moreover that like if you don't know to drive we have a i mean like a system or we have a car without the driver it is also done by our scientist or else like the researchers have found that like we have a self driving vehicles so you don't want to drive you can just sit and relax just want to share the location automatically it will take you to the locations and in each and every locations it will fetch the i mean like by camera facility it will fetch the objects and it will analyze the objects and with ai technology and like it is it can able to drive in a smoother way so we don't want to confuse or we don't want to worry about the things so that's how the self driving vehicles have been done and it is like used by the people so and you know nothing than more than this right it is like uh, uh, even like we can't tell that is a robot self driving vehicle speeds we can tell that is also a robot so you can see each and every technology have been implemented there and i have seen that like most of the students have interested in computer science engineering like we had a poll first day but i don't i i just want to ask you how it is happened why that was happened since like uh, you are thinking that like ai is the uh, future obviously ai is the future but the other technology have to incorporate with this ai then only this ai become like future right if we consider civil engineering civil engineering like we have a different structures we have a different beauty of building have been constructed no so this is done by the creation of the civil engineers and that's homes or the designed building become automatic or smart homes with the help of ai so this is an in cooperation or like integration of different type of engineering sectors will become a big success so obviously each and every engineering branches have their own scope so don't think that like uh, if someone is coming to you and telling that Uh, like ai it's good ai it's a future so you better take ai and computer science engineering and if you are really interested you can study that i don't i don't tell that like just because of some other pressure or because of some person like uh, pressurizing you that like just take that course this is the future but you have to you should have some interest on that like without that like don't take if we have civil engineering it is a wonderful course like we have mechanical we have electrical and we have like n number of like engineering branches like even uh, biomedical like we have robots we have like you can take whatever field you are interested in, and you can do research and you can find out something different and that technology can be shared to the society or else to the world and you can explore the things so don't think that like it is the technology and you can imagine this ai or something it is also a human creation or human find out this and human done this right so obviously we have to find so many things in the future and you have just started your career right so maybe like you one of your few, i mean like i i don't want to tell one maybe like uh, i i the few of the members which are here, here in the presentation or here in the sessions will become the scientist or researcher like if you have that potential or just create that potential and become that and so sorry that like we have deviated to some other topic but still i just want to share you the thing that's why i have told i thought that like i just want to share the thing since like few students have the mindset of like uh, uh just want to 
deviate to one branch and all so that's why i just want to tell about the other branch too and like we have healthcare <clears throat> if you are interested in medical field or something you can just explore the medical field and after that you can take the course and you can just incorporate the technology of healthcare with the AI so that like it become future tech so healthcare like we have different type of courses and this technology healthcare technology it's incorporated with this AI facility and it have been done and different types of surgery have been incorporated and different monitoring system have been find out with the help of AI technology. But if you want to find something in the medical field, at least like you should have some idea about the body parts or internal organs or how it is like working, what are the features, right? Then only you can do the research and you can find the same with the help of AI. If you want to do, or if you want to find something different in health sector with the help of AI, so before that, like you have to learn what is health and what are the different types of like things in our body and few features have to be studied, right? So without the knowledge of this, you can't be able to find out anything in related this, with this AI technology, right? Like we can't find that. So obviously like we have to know, we have to understand these things before, like if you are trying to do some research in AI with the help of health sector. So you can take health sector courses and afterwards, like you can join for this AI. I mean, even like we can take, you can learn AI within like one year or two years. Maybe like uh, we have like different types of courses available. You can take that. And even the commerce students, if you are interested in commerce means like you can take AI in finance and banking, AI in logistic and shipping management, AI in marketing, AI in like we have different types of things are there incorporated with the management system also and commerce students like if you are interested to do the a these courses like you can take a with the with management course so that like you can explore the thing and if you are doing digital marketing with the help of a means like it is like wonderful you can have so create you can create so many marketing ideas with the help of AI technology uh, even like social media like we have a facebook we have instagram we have emails and we have different types of things like which are used in our day-to-day life in our mobile or the network with the help of network right it is done with the help of a technology like we are getting data so many datas and data have been transferred to so many peoples and it is done and even e-commerce you know what is like booming in e-commerce it is like online products and like we have like different types of products and even we can compare the products and we can buy which one is good like based on the comparison so with that factor is also there so we can do the same so with that like i just want to tell these are the few applications of ai maybe like more than this it's available so i just want to tell these are the main applications of ai which is like used in our day-to-day -day life so you can imagine without any of Of sectors so in every sector have their own demand so if you are interested in these sectors also you can learn and if you want to design a car or like you can take automobile like you can have like automobile designing and things like you can design and afterwards like you can incorporate a technology to the system so it will become like a big or new success so that's how like you can improve the things and you can find out some different things and you can like uh, share to the world also like if you if you feel that like it is like different from others so uh, read some knowledge i mean like read some journals or something and like just update your brain with the new technology so that like you can incorporate that technology to the field which you are in interested if you, if anyone is finding some good thing in the technology appreciate and take learn about that technology and think about like how you can utilize that technology with your field so that, that's how you can improve in your life and you can success so these are the few applications and you can see how the revenue of artificial intelligence like in the world right from 2016s it is like uh, we can't predict like that much increase and maybe in 2025 it is going to that much high so this is how the growth of the say I have watched happened and like revenue have been shown here. So from this, like you can imagine how it is like drastically changing the world. 
and this is why like a have been implemented in all sector and it have been used in all applications so that's why it have created a, this much revenue also so that is a scope of ai in different applications so let's talk about some new innovation or like it is like already have been done researches in this electric vehicles and like we have already like learned what is like electric vehicles like we had a session or like we uh, we know what is like electric vehicle right electric vehicle means like we don't want to use the fuel or something it will be working with the help of electrical energy right so it is an fantastic application of ai technology and maybe like uh, we can see from the basics like how it have been uh, how it is working with the help of ai and before that like we'll see a simple block diagram of ai i mean like with the electrical vehicle block diagram how it is like designed and how it is used uh, you all know what is the use of wheel right obviously it will rotate right so the ultimate aim of our product is to rotate the wheel in a flexible way so that like we can move in the direction according to our requirement right so that is the output of the system so output or the final aim of our system design is to rotate the wheel right so for that like we have to think so if you want to do some projects means think from the output so what do you need okay or it's like if you want to get i mean like if you are designing to rotate or something or if you want to i mean like uh, sense some values or else like uh, sense the temperature value will we have a temperature sensor i don't mean like we you just use temperature sensor like maybe like you can have some other things to find out the temperature value with the help of some uh, chips and something like you can design so same way you just think about what do you need or else what is your output so here in our system our output is to rotate the wheel according to our i mean like requirement and it have to be smoothly take to our destination right so how we can rotate the wheel obviously we need some electrical motor facility to generate the mechanical energy right so we have an mg system over there and that mg system have to be power right like we should give some power right without power it won't work right so we have to choose we have ac and dc power you know what is ac right alternative and dc it's a direct current so dc it is not used in so many application mostly in our home and appliances which will working with ac system so and this car like we are using dc system and like we have a battery so battery it's a dc power like with the help of battery power we are charging the motor and motor will convert like become generate me mechanic electrical to mechanical energy conversion have been done there and which in turn rotate the wheel so this is how it will work so maybe electrical energy which we can use with some solar system maybe before designing this electrical vehicle i um, mean like with the help of this charging station even like initially some people have found this electrical vehicle or car with solar panels maybe like you can you have seen in some videos or something uh, in the top of the like uh, roof of the car like we can have electric uh, solar panels so it will automatically charge and it will like we have a battery system but it will become bulkier no so we don't have that much uh, space in the like car and we have to do so many <laughs> electrical and network and the things have to be cooperated row so that is like a not possible so that's why we are having electrical charge stations over the and it have been charged with the grid facility and it is grid does have been like supplying the power with the help of renewable energy or solar wind like we have so a number of options no? so from that like it is like charging the electrical vehicle so battery it's the to charge the system and in turn which charge the system or else which will rotate the wheel so uh, it will rotate the wheel right uh, rotate the wheel means like it will be rotating in some direction and we it is not controlled right so we should have a proper control system so obviously we need to control the entire operation 
so for controlling the same we should give some data to the system right obviously we have at least like we have to tell the system drive right left i mean like tilt something like it. maybe like you have played the games you no know? in the video games like uh, you have played right same way like it have to give some data or information to the controller to move it in a specific direction so that like we can have a smoother drive right or else it will have a smoother driver so control system will control the operation of the driving system and will give some data or information to the system so which in turn will have a smooth operations and power system will power the system and control system will have like a uh, utility options so that like we can have a overall control system like we can have a cloud system from that cloud system we can share the data to the controller like and and what will happen if we if a it's been incorporated here and a automatically fetches the images or some objects or somewhere around the car and it will fetch the data to the control system and this control system will uh, process the same and spot or else like suddenly it will fetch the information and process the same so that like it won't hit any obstacle or human so this is how electrical vehicle work with the help of ai technology same way if you want to design a product or something related to any technology if you are interested just start with the block diagram or else like prepare a block diagram and think what are the sources of energy you have to keep keep and what is your output and what is your control unit and what are the different type of motors or like what are the different types of uh, things should be incorporated there so list the topics and prepare some projects small small projects you can try and you can learn the things in a easier way so uh, simply reading a uh, reading you have to read but simply reading uh, for a while like uh, for continuous like uh, for a past like one year or something you won't i mean like find out no no you won't find anything different like so if you want to find something like obviously you have to do some projects like you can try some small small projects if, even like if you are thinking that like i don't have any good idea or something uh, just start with your idea just create some small small projects maybe like you can rotate a small wheel maybe like uh, when you are childhood you have played with some toys right so that will have a small wheel right so you can just uh, find a project uh, maybe like you can take this as an assignment and you can do the same in your home itself and you can see how you can rotate the wheel automatically in any direction okay you just try that it is a easy project maybe like you can take the help of Uh, google not in youtube like if you see the youtube means like you will see you will i mean you will find these products have to be used but like don't see that and think and find out like what are the components required to rotate the wheel and this is how like you can improve your knowledge and you can find out something different so that like you will for initially maybe like initially and all like you will feel that like i don't uh, get this like i will drop this but from the failure only like you will reach in a i mean like success pathway or else like finally you will get the output but like before that like you have to learn so if if you were able to like uh, find something different and like if you done some mistake from the mistake you can rectify the same you can ask your teachers help from that like you can rectify the same and almost like finally you can design a product so that is like that is like the chain prove your knowledge also so so let's come to our point like so this you can take it as a tips and you can learn the things in a easier way if you are learning some applications also or else like if you are some learning so many things in physics right you can try with some projects small small projects even like because of this corona issues like we don't have any uh, project exhibition or something which is not happening right before that like at least like we had some projects presentation or something which was happened in school days but nowadays it's very very tough and but like virtually it is happening but still that punch of that direct project presentation was not here not have seen and not that done because of this corona issues but still it will be coming in few days like future so this is the electrical block diagram so i hope that like you have understood uh, so uh, 
let's see a video like uh, i yesterday like i have seen one video i thought that like i just want to share the video to you since like uh, you people have the only one idea like uh, computer science computer science i won't tell that like uh, you, uh, you 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 just like i don't think that like i am telling to convert you but still <coughs> i want to tell you or else i just want to share my tips that like each and every engineering branch have their own scope and things so yesterday like uh, by evening like um, like i had i have seen one video that one of my friend have posted so i have seen that so i felt that like i just want to share the video to you so uh, let's see that and just i mean like you can share the uh, what you know, like what you have understood from that video maybe in the chat box so let's see let's move to that and enjoy okay you just see and you just try to understand like what they have told just see that guys i am now on top of the most beautiful building in the world it looks something like this it took six years to build and millions of dollars and no one knows what's hiding inside until today so what is this what is written all over it and why is there a space station and a rainforest inside trust me this is a video you don't want to miss This is Museum of the Future in Dubai, the Emirates. This building is unique because it looks like a human eye, an eye looking at the future. And because it's round, there is not a single corner in this building and no columns. Seven floors, zero corners, zero columns. This is an engineering marvel! The outside is made of 1,024 panels exactly, representing the 1,024 bytes in one kilobyte. And each panel is covered with Arabic quotes. It's the only building in the world covered with a language, and it's beautiful. But what is hiding inside of it? Well, let me show you. This is a living museum, which means everything inside of it is from the present and the future, not the past. Even the elevator is designed like a spaceship. It goes all the way up and you feel like you're in space, about to connect to the International Space Station. On the fifth floor, there's an actual NASA-approved design of a space station. It's an interactive walk through space that shows you our solar system, our international space station, and what it means to become a multi-planetary species. I don't think I'll ever make it to space, but this is as close as it gets to feeling like you're actually in space. On the fourth floor, there is an actual buildup of a rainforest. With over 2,400 species to remind us that in the future, we have to take care of nature and live with it. These are like 2,400 species. Some of them survived and some of them did not survive. But just walking through this is like a surreal experience. On the second floor, there is a space dedicated to the craziest ideas, from flying drones to self-driving cars and robotic dogs. They're all hiding here. Okay, I know everybody likes dogs, but check out this dog. It is a cyber dog. This is like completely mechanical. It can talk to you. It can do complicated stuff and it's probably just as loyal as your real dog. And on the bottom floor, there is a full science park for future generations, kids, to help them appreciate physics, science, and math.
This museum is not just a building. It's actually an investment fund, a university and a lab at the same time. It is where young people like me and you can finally get support. Talented people will get funding here to pursue their craziest ideas in math, science, physics, and tech. This museum will find and fund them with millions of dollars. We are just bringing back the glory of the past and making this the center of that ideation to bring up new professors, new scholars, new ideas, and bright future. See, the future is not about buildings. The future is about science, technology, climate, nature. It is about supporting humans with great ideas. It is about taking care of our planet. And most importantly, it's about leaving a better world for our kids. I hope that like it was like very useful to you. So I just want to know your review. So you can just post the same in the chat. Now, like I just want to tell you each and every factors like in the world, it is like a different thing, right? It is like it have to be utilized and it have to be used for different purpose, right? Even like you can see it's like civil engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, robotics engineer and it is like creative of all engineers and technology, right? So I hope that like that video was an interesting one. So that's why I have showed to you. And maybe like a application also incorporated, not maybe it should it's also incorporated there. So with that, like I just want to wind up my sessions. And if you have any queries regarding the sessions like which we had from the past three to four days like you can just post here like and thank you you can just post the queries here